so. Oh, go on, you can go round. Where was we? Afternoon, everybody. And we're out for a test ride today on this Lexmoto Titan. Now, this blue one purchased it in July, came back to us in September, running issues, kept cutting out when she was riding it. So, first things first, code scanned on the bike and it came up TPS. So, scan TPS up, ordered another TPS, not available. As you know, ECUs and Titan parts are all on back order. Nothing is available at the moment. Managed to wangle one off of what Lexmoto call their stock shelf. So what it means is they have one of everything sitting on the shelf as a demo. So you can see what it looks like and they can go to the shelf, yeah that looks like the part. So managed to wangle a TPS sensor very very quickly off of Lexmodo, thanks boys, and get it out to us. Now change the TPS sensor, it run alright and then it came back about a week later I think it was. Still cutting out, right. We've changed the TPS, scanned the bike up, absolutely nothing. That is really, really weird. As you would expect, it's one of those intermittent faults, a bit like a, an ache in the knee that you can't get rid of and you don't know what's causing it. Is it a muscle, is it a bone, or is it just rheumatism? So, ordered the whole lot. Right, send us the whole lot. Idle air, throttle position sensor, send us a new injector. Boys at Lexmoto have obviously jumped all over it, tried to help us out, but obviously parts are on back order. Everyone's moaning, can't get this, can't get that. But they have helped us out, so thanks to the boys at Lexmoto again. And it's been sat on the ramp, obviously trying to get mechanics on it. We have had this as a priority one. But obviously it's down to how quick we can get the parts to us. Finally, had a crack at it yesterday. Ran out of time yesterday because we were on it for a couple of hours. Back on it again today and lo and behold it is running. So, adjusted the tappets on it and we've had the complete carb off. Cleaned it all the way through. Had the injector out, had the TPS out, had the air idle out. We have done absolutely everything on it and it is now not cutting out. Look. How about that? Should be about 2000 RPM. So, what we do now, three big long ride tests before it goes to the customer. And because the customer is obviously doesn't want it back if it's not running, we bang in three long test rides and we video it. Should they. Uh, obviously pick up, oh it's doing it again, well we've done three long test rides, we've done what we need to do so we are going to be doing and I just love, look, let's all just blow the red light here silly people we're going to do three long test runs at high speed full tank of fuel on which most of it went down the inside of my leg. I am going to go to the inside lane. And we're going to crack up some mileage. Be alright if this car did more than 45 mile an hour in front. Go on, go, 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 go. Never known it. Mercedes go that slow, they're normally quite fast. And as you can tell probably from the cameras, it is raining, so RB is going to be soaked and cold and fed up by the time he gets back to the garage because I've got to get some long test runs in. So, this is done, 4,112 miles. So, 4,312, probably it was 4,310 when we left the garage, somewhere around there, which means I can do full speed on it, flat around on it, obviously got no right hand mirror but she did drop it but we're going to 
hammer this around at 55 mile an hour and get some test mileage on while I'm doing that gives me a chance to waffle <coughs> oh it's decidedly cold so we had my favourite friend in otherwise known as Port on my YouTube channel one of our uh, friends that comes in otherwise known as Stuart 39 and a half thousand miles on his Titan and it is all going good because he looks after it but I'll be we rollers are starting to go yeah they were squared off slightly Stuart changed the rollers and we did the forks on it for him as well and check the whole bike over and put new panels on the front but so far so good what I'm going to do roll off the throttle does it cut out no it's ticking over 2000 rpm brilliant that is the first one so I'm going to try and stop at every roundabout junction we can see if it stops obviously because I've got no right hand mirror I have to shoulder check but you know what I'm like with mirrors I do not like mirrors shoulder check is always better right let's clean the camera a bit give that one a wipe and give that one a wipe got the two cameras running today just in case we lose audio or we lose picture it's always the best to have a backup camera movie over Mr Van thank you very much you had another lane on the outside there mate you could have moved out the way oh here comes the drizzle So we're going to try and ramp this up to about 4330k before we head back to the garage. I'm going to be soaked, I'm going to be wet, I'm going to be cold, but not the camera. Road spray is absolutely horrible. Thank God I've got my finger wiper on my glove. It's like a little windscreen wiper. There we go. Rocking along 60 mile an hour. Titans always sit around about 55, 60, so all good, which means I can ramp the mileage up a little bit quicker than bangering around at 45. So, being a bit of a longer video, I may sort of cut in and out on this. By the end of the video, you'll know how many miles we've done, so 4315, 5k in. The other good news while we're doing all this stuff I was on a couple of the adventure bike stands <coughs> excuse me let me just have a quick cough <coughs> so I was on the adventure bike stands and yes Kawasaki do the versus nice bike but not for me I'd love to be team green but Kawasaki only do one adventure bike went on the Honda stand Africa Twin, yes, I could be Lockwood's brother or Lockwood's daddy. Sat on the Africa Twin, loved it, absolutely loved that Africa Twin. I can fit on it and flat foot. It's got the low seat height on it now, which it didn't have on the original Africa Twins. Chatting with the rep, how much is it? 17 and a half grand. I do have 20 grand put aside, which is my, as I say, my retirement or my savings fund for when I decide that... Uh, I no longer want to be working at the garage, which will probably never happen. Back down the dual carriageway, shoulder check, move over, right. Anyway, got 20 grand put aside, I can't afford it. Shall I buy the Africa Twin? Oh, what does it come with? That's it, bare bike. Well, what about the panniers, top box, all the little extras, the crash bars? No, mate, that's another £2,800. What? Yeah, 17 and a half, and it's another two and a half for all the, well, 2,430 pounds for the panniers, top box and extras. Oh, okay. So you're taking that up to nearly 20 grand. Can I book a demo test ride? We don't do demos, mate. Not unless you're really interested and you've got to front the money up front. If you don't like it, we'll give you the money back. Which is the same as what we do with our used bikes, but on a new bike... 
And I said to him, what is the reason for that? Oh, we just get too many people just want to take the bike out and blat around and then bring it back. Nine times out of ten, they drop it. Well, yeah, you've got insurance, yeah, but we'd rather not happen. Okay. So, uh, that was Honda's excuse. I am going to move over here, like so. Thank you very much. So, that was Honda's excuse. And uh, I was like, all right, well, are you still interested in one? Well, not, not unless I can have a demo ride. I'm not just going to splash a load of cash on a bike if I don't like it. What happens if six weeks down the road I don't like the bike and it's not the bike for me? That's why I want a demo ride. Oh, sorry, mate. Can't have a demo ride. OK, fine. Fair enough. Keep your bike. Walked on the BMW stand. Hello. Hello. And uh, you're interested. I said, a friend of mine, Andy GSA Tractor, has the GSA Adventure TE Black Edition. Top of the range one. Oh, yes, I know him. Yeah, yeah. He came to Wollaston BMW, didn't he? But he's bike. Oh, yes, he did. Because your people at Ling's buggered up his bike. Oh, yeah, we've heard it's gone round BMW. BMW know the story of his bike now. And I said, well, I have had a sit on Andy's bike. And I am getting more and more tempted. Obviously, I'm still keeping the GTR. And I said to everyone, that will be my forever bike. It is my forever bike. But you try taking the GTR down country roads or slightly muddy roads, it doesn't like it. It's a big, heavy touring bike but it does eat the miles but I would like something that I can just jump on and go anywhere do anything with it oh the BMW 1250 is going to be the bike for you yeah I know can I get a demo test ride on it of course you can what's your name blah, blah, blah. and then lo and behold one of the other reps spotted me and went hello Rev I went, oh hello you're from Milton Keynes, isn't you? Yeah, seen your videos, mate. What are you looking at the BMW for? You're uh, Lexmoto and Kawasaki, and you? I went, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just looking at doing a, a demo ride, or if I can do a review of it. Oh, of course you can, yeah. We'll book you in at Wollaston, in Northampton, and I'm sure they'll give you a call. Well, they did, they called me Monday morning. Hello, Paul over at uh, Wollaston. Hello, Paul. Interested in the uh, bike? Yep, yep. Can I do a... A vlog on it well yeah we don't normally give it to vloggers oh here we go again simple reason they take them out they black them around and obviously the customer does not want to buy a demo bike knowing that it's been fresh well I don't put the number plates in you know I'll, it'll be me on the bike riding it around and if I like it I want to buy it all right and uh, he went oh let's just take some details uh, what's your full name gave my full name what's your address who do you work for? Self-employed. <coughs> I work for Eclipse. <coughs> What's your company name? Red one. All right. Let me just have a quick look. And I went, what are you doing? He said, oh, I'm just going to do a quick credit search. I went, will that affect my credits? Oh, it will knock 30 points off, but not until you actually apply for credit. We're just going to do a quick soft search on it. It's not like a hard search for credit. We'll just do a soft search. Does this soft search. Yeah, mate, you're good for uh, 20 grand. Time for a bit of filtering, I think. Here we go. First time you'll see a 125 Titan do a filter, which is probably more than what my GTR can do. So, I have been approved for credit. And he went, yeah. He said, basically, you can uh, either go no, no deposit, or you can put four grand down and it will bring your payments down. Oh, okay, yeah. So, if I was to slam four grand down look at this guy look he's got loads of room he don't want to let me through does he well, i bet he moves over as i try and get through this look look at this look look bell end right we're going back up the hill again anyway so yeah certain amount over three years which i can afford or zero percent interest or should i say zero deposit Based it over three years, it works out I'm going to be paying around about £400 a month, which is 100 quid a week. What's that, 15 quid a day? It's nothing really, is it? So, are you interested in it? Yes, but not. I'm not going to go and buy one now, pre-Christmas. I'm going to probably look around about March, April. But it all depends on 
when I take the bike out and do a review. Well, we can book you in in two weeks' time. Second week of December, pre-Christmas ride for you. A little bit of a Christmas present to myself. So, yeah, I'm going to be looking at a BMW, and I can blame Andy GSA Tractor because the more I look at the BMW, the more I like it. Yes, it's a, a me too, as Simon calls it. Everyone's got one. What you got? BMW uh, 1250. Oh, me too. What you got? Me too. Yeah. So we call it a me too bike. Everybody's gone adventure bike, but most adventure bike riders use them. Oh, that was clever. Bell end of the week. Most people use them for sort of this just the commuting. Some people do use them for doing long distance touring and obviously that's what I want to do. But it's, I'd say I'm 50-50 at the moment, but I am biding my time. I'm going to try the bike out if I like it. But as Andy says, it's got all the bells, the whistles and it does everything. So we're 4326 in now. We're we'll getting there. The main road here is all been dug up, so there are major diversions in place. No one can get in and out of Milton Keynes, or Bletchley should I say. Let's go people, come on, it's empty, go, 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 come on, go, 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 go. Look at the potholes down here. This is where we need Rhythmic Biker and his team to come and sort some potholes out, Rhythmic. And God knows what they're doing, but I'm making the right pig's ear of it. Road to Tesco's is closed. Well, you ain't going to get much traffic there, but every little helps. <sighs> so back to the garage we go. I'll be signing off. What are you doing this week? Stay warm, keep safe, be well, ride safe as I say, but keep warm, that's the main thing. Oh Jesus H. And from a very cold and wet and frozen RB, on this Titan, it's a big goodbye from me. Take care.